Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my series where we talk about classical mythology while I crochet. Today, we are going to talk about Ajax the Greater and Odysseus's little argument for Achilles' armor. I find Ajax super relatable in this story, and I think you'll see why as I go on. This is skipping around a bit in our Trojan War saga. This is after the death of Achilles and after his funeral games. His mom, Thetis, presents the armor that she had had Hephaestus make for Achilles to the men and says that she wants the armor to go to the best soldier and the one who helped protect Achilles on the battlefield after he fell because the Trojans could have looted him for that armor. Two of the soldiers step forward, Odysseus and Ajax. Ajax definitely has won some prominent battles. He's been in single combat with Hector and taken him to stalemate. He also is literally fighting with Hector's sword because of one of those stalemates where they traded armor. Odysseus, however, has the cunning intellect and cunning wins wars. You can't win wars on brute strength alone. He also is the person who brought Achilles there in the first place. But Ajax pushes back. He says, you didn't even want to come, so why should you get it? And besides, we found out from our seer that we needed Philatides, and you're the person who told us we should leave him behind. I'm going to tell you guys that story later. So you have basically been a hindrance with some of your cutting. And Odysseus says, you know, like, you want to say you're the best fighter? I'm also a good fighter. I'm of Zeus's stock. Try me, bro. The Greek soldiers are afraid to weigh in on this whole argument because they realize that whoever wins the armor is going to be bolstered by that victory. And whoever loses is no longer going to want to fight, most likely. They don't really want to lose Ajax because he has been very instrumental in some of the actual combat battles. But they don't want to lose Odysseus because his intellect has gotten them out of some tight corners before. Also, he hasn't come up with the Trojan horse plan yet. And I don't know what would have happened had he not been there. But they decide to ask some Trojan soldiers that they had captured. And they want to see who these Trojan soldiers fear the most out of these two fighters. They unanimously say Odysseus. And Ajax becomes enraged, sad, and just distraught all at the same time. He really, really believes, like, hello, she said the best fighter. I'm the best fighter. I feel like we've all been there where, like, we feel like our efforts haven't been seen the way that we see them. And that we don't feel appreciated. And I can really see that in him. He doesn't think it... Odysseus is going to be able to wear the armor well because it's kind of heavy. It was made for Achilles. And he just really feels like he's the one who deserves it. So Ajax starts plotting as everybody's going to sleep. He's thinking, what should I do? Should I light the boats on fire? Because we have all these wooden ships sitting here on the shore that people were probably sleeping next to or maybe even on. Or should I just sneak up on Odysseus, Agamemnon, Menelaus, all of those awful Greeks while they're sleeping? But while he is debating this, Athena is watching, and she does not want Odysseus to be taken out like that because he's one of her favorites. He's always at her altars, always sacrificing to her. He's a great dude to her. So she convinces him, or at least like drives him a little crazy so that he believes that their sheep are these men, and he slaughters them. Everybody eventually wakes up in the morning, having seen what he has done, and he snaps out of it. He is immediately ashamed and so embarrassed and can't imagine ever recovering from this ordeal. So he falls on his sword. And not only is it his sword, it's Hector's sword. Um, now, afterwards, at least I believe in Sophocles' tragedy, the Greeks debate whether or not they should bury Ajax, whether or not he deserves the honor after taking his own life. 
And Odysseus actually argues in favor of giving him a proper burial because he says, even our enemies deserve it sometimes. And that was him trying to be the bigger person in all of this. I just talked about the underworld yesterday. Odysseus does try to talk to Ajax in the underworld, but Ajax doesn't say a word to him, just turns away. So Ajax was pretty pissed about this, even in the afterlife. And like I said, I think this is all pretty relatable that we've all been in the place where we feel unappreciated, or maybe we've had an incident that we're so embarrassed about that we literally want to die. It's not always that dramatic. It doesn't have to be the Greek tragedy. If you want to see what unfolds when you do that, Sophocles, okay? <laughs> <laughs>